strategies. All right. Today we're gonna recap all strategies, trading strategy which have we already discussed till today. So because today is the last day. All right. So very soon we will start our new session. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can I start now? Okay. Okay. All right. We are doing a recap. All right. Okay. So first, uh, let's understand the power of option trading and investment why we trade in option why is it important okay so option trading for short term trader and option require less capital why we are trading in option because we need less capital comparatively other and the next we minimize our risk and we are we are maximizing uh, sorry we are maximum our profit and uh, generate profit in any direction. So what basically to happen when price is bullish, we go for buy. When price is running in a downtrend, we go for sell. But in a sideway market, it's uh, very difficult to earn money in a normal like uh, stocks or somewhere like that. But by using option, we can earn money in any direction. It may bullish, it may bearish, or it may sideways. So you can earn in any direction. So this is the example, it's okay. Let's check it. And the first, okay. So I think you people know, right? What is call and what is put? Okay, okay, most of the people asking me, all right, all right. So you, uh, for intraday, I'll upload one video. I think, uh, let's see, tomorrow I, I'm gonna upload one video for intraday. Okay, so let's uh, recap today. Tomorrow, so I'll try to upload one, at least intraday option trading uh, video. It will be okay. I hope. Okay. Okay, nice. So because today is the last class, so that is why I'm explaining and there, let's say recap. Okay. Yeah, definitely I'll upload intraday option trading strategy. Okay. So let's see, uh, okay. Okay, you just visit to my YouTube channel. So, okay, boy, this is breaking. Okay, okay uh, my YouTube channel, you just type my name. Okay, you just type my name, all right, just a minute. You just type my name, D W I. P E N G O Z O I. Uh, in YouTube, you will find me. All right, this is my name. Okay, you will find me in this number. All right, so this is my YouTube channel name. Okay, so I hope you understand. Right, you can go away. Okay. Uh, nice call option and put option. So in an option, there are two type of option. One call, call option, and another call, put option. In a call option, there is two segment. One is called buy call and sell call. Uh, remember, buy call means we are expecting price will go up and we are buying some strike price. And a sell call means we are expecting Price will drop from this area. Okay. Okay, buy call. Buy call means we are expecting price will go up. 
and a sell call means price will drop from this area like simply uh, some stock we are buying and some stock we are selling that's uh, that is the meaning of that all right okay but put is different put buy means we are expecting price will drop and a sell put means we are expecting price will go up that's it only very simple all right very simple okay so uh, option premium is look like that so i think everybody knows we are just re doing recap okay so this is the risk and uh, return okay so when we are buying any stocks it should look like that and when price goes up we are our profit is unlimited when price drop from this area our loss is unlimited but in option it look like different okay so when we buy suppose i bought here uh, this is itc daily chart suppose i bought here if price goes up profit is unlimited if price drop from this area our risk is limited all right what premium we paid that is our risk okay so in that case here you can see suppose we bought itc strike price 193 or whatever okay so at that time their premium was 205 if price drop from this area our loss will be just the, the just the premium only all right but our profit is unlimited okay so in the money, out the money, I think everybody knows, right? What is in the money, out the money? So let me tell you once again, in the money and out the money. Okay. So suppose right now price is somewhere here. Uh, one, five, uh, let's say one, six, zero, zero. One, six, zero, zero, it, it's a current price. One, six, zero, zero, this is the current price right now okay so this strike price called at the money that is called atm where price is right now all right that is called at the money if suppose i want to buy above this strike price this one suppose 1700 for example all right and i want to buy this strike price this is called out of the money all right Suppose here running 1500, 1500, this is called in the money. No audio. Audio. Can you hear me? Okay, clear. All right. So, okay, okay, clear. Okay, nice. That is the in the money, out the money in a buy direction, in a call direction. Okay for okay okay nice all the perfect okay for put here you can see for put suppose here price is running uh 1600 okay so i'm gonna, I'm gonna buy put in mean, put is opposite put is opposite suppose here one five okay one five zero zero one five zero zero in a put direction this is called out of the money and here suppose 1700 that is called in the money for put all right call is opposite okay nice it's a very simple yeah once uh, definitely uh, you learn this okay so this is the example here okay so let's check it here and now see intrinsic value this is the most uh, important word intrinsic value and extrinsic value so i'm just recapping this one i think you people are uh, audio i think my network is so imperfect okay check 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 your net net connection audio yeah most yeah most of the people are yeah good 
good audio is perfect yeah nice okay so who people are not able to yeah me okay now you can see what is intrinsic value and extrinsic value that is the important thing okay uh, let me explain once again let's see right now price is somewhere here around ten thousand all right this is ten thousand strike price nifty okay uh, this is the ten thousand all right current price somewhere here so this ten thousand strike price call at the money at tm means at the money all right now i want to buy call option remember call option i'm not talking right now about put option forget about put option right now i'm talking about call option now i want to buy call option means i'm expecting that price will go up i'm a bullish right i'm a bullish viewer and i i'm analyzing this market i'm expecting that price will go uh all right price will go up from this area okay now let's see here 10,100 somewhere here 10,100 this is 10,100 okay this 10,100 this is called out of the money remember in out of the money there is no intrinsic value all right there are only extrinsic value what what is the meaning of extrinsic and intrinsic value how we determine this one see intrinsic value all right in a call option remember intrinsic value is equal to current price what is the current price ten thousand is the current price what is the strike price strike price suppose i want to buy this strike price somewhere here nine thousand nine hundred 9900 this type price so when uh, we deduct from current price uh, stack price from current price what value comes that is called intrinsic value all right now you can see when we we'll deduct from 10000 all right 9900 from 10000 what the results comes there are 100 all right okay 100 all right this hundred call intrinsic value remember this is called intrinsic value that is why in in the money there are intrinsic value in out of the money there is no intrinsic value in out of the money there are only hope and there are only hope value what is the meaning of hope in a hope value there is two things one is volatility another time means we bought here uh, at that time stack price is somewhere here 10,000 and we bought 10,100 stack price now why we bought there is zero their intrinsic value is a big zero why we bought we hope that before expiry before expires on this contact it will go up from this area what is the meaning we hope we are hoping all right we are hoping that price will go up from this area that is called extrinsic value why we have why we hoping because we have time we have volatility because every day market gives uh, market uh, volatile, all right? They goes up higher and lower like that. So that is called volatility. And we have volatility because market is running up and down, up and down, and we have time, all right? To expire this contact, we have suppose 10 days, 20 days, 30 days, one month, six months, whatever, we have time that is why it's called hope value intrinsic value the put side is just different all right i think you understand right? i already i already explained in our class we are just recapping this one 
and how to determine the premiums let's check it how to determine the premium option premium intrinsic value plus extrinsic value is equal to premium so you no need to calculate yourself automatically they are calculating okay yeah most of the people are asking me delta gamma theta vega rho okay so i think you understand right yeah i'll explain what is the theta okay what is the gamma what is the vega what is the rho and we don't need this uh this one these two these two things we don't need gamma and rho it's not impact that much okay we need delta we need theta and vega what is the meaning of delta i uh, sorry delta okay now delta r indicating the change of premium have you make sense let me let me give an example right now current price is running 10000 and let's say and premium is running 100 option premium xyz suppose this uh, strike price we are expecting price will go up to this level all right we are expecting all right this is the resistant line and we are expecting within a week or uh, within a month okay okay uh, in heading uh, do we need consider greek yeah so most of the time i'm using uh, greek so it's uh, not that much so sometime i'm using all right to select the stack price all right okay let me explain first what is delta let's see we are expecting price will go up to this level okay that is the resistance line and we have seen some candlestick pattern xyz trading strategy we are applying now we are for forecasting not exactly we can't forecast the market or we can't predict uh, this is a probability by using some technical indicators all right this is the probability remember this market all are probability nobody can predict the market remember all right all are probability okay in our technical analysis course i already explained probability let's see right now uh strike uh, uh right now price is running around ten thousand. okay i wanna buy 10,150 somewhere here. I want to buy 10,150 strike price. Uh, 10,150. Let's see. Okay, 10,100. All right. 100. Let me remove this one here. I wrote differently. Sorry. Okay. Okay just a minute okay this is our strike price we have seen some support and resistance and i'm gonna buy this strike price and i have five days to expire my premium all right day okay i have five days to expire and i'm expecting that price will go to this level of 10,150 within five days. And right now, current price is running 10,000 and my premium is 100. So let's see. Um, it's just, suppose Delta is showing like 0 0.50. All right, Delta is showing 0. Uh, point, 0 0.5. Delta is showing like that. So what is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of that? Delta is 0 0.5. What is the meaning? It means, listen carefully. Who people are not able to understand, listen carefully. If price goes up 100 rupees, our, uh, our, okay, our, okay. Let's see, Le uh, listen carefully. If price goes up, 100 rupees delta is showing 0 0.05 means this 
option premium will go up to 100 it will be 150 all right have you make sense price goes up 100 pips actual suppose this is the nifty nifty price goes up 100 pips but option increase 50 pips delta r showing this thing only remember nifty goes up 100 and our premium will yeah our premium also increase 50 why because delta is showing somewhere here this type of sometimes it's just showing like delta b is equal to um, 0.8 what is the mean what is the meaning of that means if price goes up 100 option will increase 80 that is called delta okay is it clear delta do you have anybody anybody who are not able to understand the delta okay okay clear nice okay all right fine i'm not understand okay but okay okay <clears throat> okay uh, mr Somi is still not able to understand let's see here uh, um, let's say um, XYZ stock. Let's see SBI. For example, no, I don't know what current price is running right now. SBI. Okay. SBI current price is, let's say, 200. For example, yeah, I don't know what current price is running. SBI current price is 200. Okay. All right, now I'm bullish. All right, I'm bullish, and I'm expecting that price will go up uh, to 220. I'm expecting that 20 rupees will go up. All right, and I'm gonna buy this stock price 220. So at that time, SBI are selling at the premium of 10 rupees. Okay, this is option premium. It's a 10 rupees. Okay now when we when we have seen delta uh it's just showing um, let's say delta is showing 0 0.7 okay all right delta is showing 0 0.7 all right okay what is the meaning where to find this value uh greek so uh, you just say you just go to uh you just uh yeah all right where to get uh, where to find this value so you just find out that um greek calculator you just type in net uh, greek calculator will be available all right just click on in google okay means if price goes up one rupees above all right if price goes up one rupees this premium will increase 70 pesa not exactly one rupees okay it make sense means one rupees stock price goes up and your premium will increase by 70 pesa if delta is showing 0.5 means one rupees okay one rupees stock price increase means our premium will increase 50 pesa it's a very simple okay all right very simple and gamma it's uh, showing the change of delta because every time uh, that delta not increasing by 50 
50 uh, 50 page hour something like that so it's also increasing it's a uh, it's just showing by gamma so that is why we don't need and that theta theta means the time all right so every day every premium like uh, out of the premium or whatever in the money out of the money whatever premium are decreasing they are decrease the value it is showing by theta showing by theta okay so vega is a volatility if price goes up from 100 to 300 all right 200 to 300 what is the volatile all right it's indicating by vega all right so 100 rupees gone what is the premium premium will change it's just showing by volatility okay so i will create another video in my youtube channel don't worry okay option chain and so okay option chain analysis so i'll create another video also option chain analysis okay let's see some uh, trading strategies okay i'll show you my youtube channel okay it should just type my name you can go okay so this is called long uh, call when uh, very bullish so most of the time uh, your name my name is dupen gogoi okay let's see all right my name is dupen gogoi d I P. This is I you know, P E N. Okay. Dripen. Just type go go G O G O. You'll find me. Okay. Dripen go go G O G O I. Okay. This is my YouTube channel name. Okay. Okay, Shaitam Yama Kanmandi Mardi. Okay, he's asking me sometime we see uh, the okay, price is going up uh, and uh, okay, option premium is uh, going down. Yeah, it's uh, most of the time. Proportionately. Okay, 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 I understand, I understand, I understand. Sometimes what happened actually, suppose uh, price is running somewhere here. All right. Suppose price is running somewhere here and here. And price is very slowly price are moving upside. But option premium not increasing. Why is it happen? Because of delta, that is why we, we just we just find out the popper delta all right popper delta uh, suppose sometime what happened delta is showing like that mm, 0.2 all right 0.2 means one rupees goes up premium goes up 20 pesa but in an opposite side all right for the buy direction all right this is for buy uh, this is for buy suppose this is for buy for sell delta is showing like um, 0.6 okay so what happened exactly at that time when price goes up one rupees your premium will increase one uh, uh 20 pesa all right and but when when price drop one rupees they are decreasing 60 pesa pesa all right 60 pesa so that is why when price is going up like that like that like that very slowly our option premium not increasing accordingly all right i bought this strike price but still price are above this uh, strike price or our entry price but in option is showing negative why is it happen only because of this delta buy and sell their difference that that is why it's happened okay so this is a long call strategy so what is the time to so i'm a swing trader or positional trader in option basically i trade in 
uh, 90% time I trade in option, 90% I trade in op op option only, all right. And all are positional. I have uh, every time I I, I have a, a position in option, all right. It may stocks, it may indices, or sometimes in crude also, commodity, okay. So uh, when we place buy order, when price is very bullish, all right, when market is very bullish, so at that time we place a uh, um, long buy. So you can say like a call buy, okay, long calls or buy call. So how we identify, is it a very bullish market or uh, like a range market? So at that time we are using moving average when price are bouncing, so we are confirming that uh, once the price retracts toward this moving average, it will bounce from, from that area. Okay, so another, we are applying uh, this strategy when price just break this range. So here you can see price was running in a range and there is a breakout. So once they break this level, so we are applying buy call, okay. All right, let me read some stuff, okay. Okay, um, how to do it to stop? So like Titan will go below, uh, what should sell or buy? Okay, so uh, he asked me some, but okay, let me read, he is still confused. Okay, how to do it uh, in stop, sir? Uh, like Titan will go below, what should I do? Okay, suppose um, if you are expecting that Titan, is it Titan or Bank Nifty? Titan, not 9,500. I think you are talking about Bank Nifty. Okay, so once you place sell order, means you are a premium, seller. Once you buy, that means you are just buying the premium. Okay, 950, okay, nice 950, all right. So let's see, uh, okay, let me show you somewhere. So. Titan, Titan, let's take it, Titan. Where is Titan? Yeah, nice, this one. So let's see, this is a daily chart and the Titan, and we are expecting that price will drop from this area, all right. We are expecting price will hit this lower point. So now we are bearish. So now we can, we can place uh, here, uh, we can enter in this market in two way. Number one, we can buy, you can buy direct straight put. All right, you can buy put PE. -E. You can buy put. Or another way, we can sell. We can sell call. Okay, the direction is the same direction is same we are very sell call means price will drop from this area buy put means also same price will drop from this area but here what is the difference between buy and sell in buy unlimited profit limited loss in buy in sell Limited profit, unlimited loss. Now, most of the people are thinking then why people sell it? Okay, that is the important question. Okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay. 
enter the titan uh, yeah high risk high reward means okay can we go for first uh, otherwise we can't completely review the all okay how to trade new standard many people are asking me different different questions okay let me all right okay 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 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so later i'll i'll answer you all right so now sorry sorry where is the ppt okay okay so we can complete i think already we complete our time so let's see okay now when we are very very bullish so we are applying now here you can see this is the um, example price are bouncing from moving average uh, 50. Uh, so at that time we have seen there uh, uh, there is a breakout so we can go for straight uh, call option straight by call stop option right uh, we are very bullish from this area or we can go for sell put option so that is a different strategy so we already discussed this one now how does it look like that it should look like here all right uh, this line i think this line let's say i think you people know about this one when we uh, buy simple call option is to look like this is a limited loss and maximum profit all right when price goes up so that is why we need a very bullish or bearish market it is opposite all right uh put is opposite when price is running in a downtrend okay so i hope uh, this is the advantage and this advantage when to exit long put okay yeah we can cover i think we have many okay okay do one thing you ask me any question if you have any doubt so i think uh, it's, a, uh, it's a very difficult to cover everything okay you can ask me any questions if you have any doubt about this course so today i am going to complete this course okay Can you please share the PPT? Okay, I'll say I don't worry. And uh, I'll create a YouTube video regarding uh, about this uh, course, all right? Okay, you wanna see the PPT? Can I explain adjustment in Iron Condor? Okay, okay, many questions are there, many questions, Iron Condor strategy, all right, we already discussed strategy please submit okay useful indicator for option so uh for option uh i'm using that indicator whatever i already explained in my technical analysis course uh, so we are applying this strategy only that is the method we are we find out the support and resistance and after that we are constructing this uh, strategy iron control is please again okay Okay. This is all a moving averages. These are all a moving average. These are um, exponential moving average. It's a 20, 200, 150, 150, and 20. So basically, we are applying this uh, moving average to identify the trend and find out the support and resistance. Okay. Okay. If you saw the PPT, it will be complete. Okay. Okay. Let me let me show show you my PPT. Okay. Uh, this is the iron condor strategy. Okay. Mm. Awesome. Okay. This one. Let me explain this iron condor only. So I. Don't think so. Oh, we're gonna complete this one today. Learn how options are really good first to test there. Uh, some yeah, iron. This is the uh, iron control. Let me explain once again. Iron control. All right. So every strategy we can't cover. Iron condor control strategy. Sell a call upper boundary resistance. Let me explain. Sell a call. Suppose price is running in a range and somewhere this is the resistance and this is the support this is the resistance and this is the sorry this is the resistance and 
this is the support okay first what we will do sell a call upper boundary so here you can see this is the boundary line and we will sell a call upper boundary okay and after that buy a call higher strike price so what we will do we will select upper higher strike price and we will buy and similarly sell a put option somewhere here lower boundary this is the supporting line this is the lower boundary and after that we buy a put below uh, i can say uh, below um, below this uh, stack price okay buy a put lower stack price and buy a buying call and buying put should be cheaper than selling call and put so definitely it will be cheaper all right and winning ratio more than 80 percent so at that time we are using delta all right delta delta is showing us a winning percentage so how does it look like now we can see this is an example so let's say a price is running in a range in this range right now price is near this resistance line so we select two uh boundary all right this is the lower boundary and this is the upper boundary so what we'll do i will sell a call option after that we'll buy a call option so when we sell a call option or buy a call um call option this is called sell credit spread so you will you'll, uh, you'll find this strategy so we are applying both of them so after that what we will do sell put and buy put lower boundary all right so once we place our order how does it look like that all right let's see this is the example okay uh, all right no okay so once we place the order it should look like that okay somewhere here this is the line which look like that this is called iron condor means if price goes far from this area our loss will trap we are not going to lose too too much all right and if price drop from this area we we never gonna lose more money our loss will also trap if price stay in between these range will collect the all premiums that's it uh, that is the method let's see how we uh, adjust this trade uh, suppose we select this is the range of this market and we're expecting within a month price will uh, will run in this range in this range all right if price goes up from this area so what we'll do so now it will look like that this is called iron condor strategy somewhere here and here you can see this iron condor if price goes up from this area what we'll do we'll extend our length all right we'll select another upper boundary range and it should look like that all right it should look like that so we adjust our trade okay that is basic understanding of iron condor what is this okay okay um, let me read some comment okay thank you very much for that okay uh how can we find how to many buyer and seller are uh, sitting at the stack price uh mr kundan kumar so most of the people are yeah most of the people are using that technique how many uh, buyer seller are sitting out uh, there so they are applying option saying there is a column called oi it will find like that oi o i means open uh, open interest how many people already holding their position but i never apply i'm not against open interest but i never apply every day open interest are changing today we have seen suppose nifty 10 nifty 10000 are there right uh 10000 open interest uh let's see three lane open interest are there next day it will not like that three lakhs 
they are changing something already they are showing they are changing like every day they are changing that is why i am applying support and resistance all right support and resistance support and resistance it's not going to change every day support and resistance are fixed okay there is a probability to reverse back from this area remember nobody can predict the future or market mm, many by okay open index you can say it open index yeah good most of the people are using uh, but we are technical trader so we are using full technical tools all right can you just refresh about the straddle and straddle? Okay, Rahul. So I'll create a video about that one, one by one. All right, in my YouTube, I'll upload definitely. So today, uh, let's say, uh, let please share your Telegram group. And okay, uh, once I complete this Telegram, and I'll, 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 I'll definitely join you people. I have your mail ID or contact number. Definitely, I'll join you. Okay. What is the sp uh, speed in option? Please explain when apply and why. Speed, okay, so it's a speed are calculating by volatility when price is going like too fast. That is option premium also increasing like very fast. That is a, uh, okay, volatility. Please explain when to apply, okay. Sir, zero losses strategy is possible. Somebody told the sir. Uh, let me tell you one thing in option trading 95% trader are winner in option trader. I'm not talking only single naked buy or naked sell. Strategic trader, strategic trader. This is called strategic trader. All right. So when we place uh, order, it is a 95% probability and the chance, a chance uh, our trade will win. Oh, we're gonna win in this market. Only 5% probability I may wrong. But this 5%, what I'll do, I'll adjust this 5%. Okay, I'll adjust by shifting my orders so i can say 100 percent or whatever uh i think uh, whatever i place my orders more than 90 percent all right yeah okay but don't expect uh, like a uh, buying option they are making double triple in a day but we are not not that type of trader we are strategic trader we just collecting the premium we are applying volatility we are applying uh time we are applying a delta all other day mm, you started a topic once please okay straight on that one yeah mr tulsi i'll create a video that one so we will take time do you take a fundamental analysis class yeah, for investment uh, fundamental analysis. So I already told in fundamental when I'm going to invest any company, company should pass seven steps after that I'm investing. Otherwise, I never invest any company. And investment like uh, something like I'm going to marry a girl. All right. So I have to know about her. I must know about her. All right everything and the fundamental analysis is like that when i'm going to invest for long term i must know about that company profit net income everything p ratio intrinsic values all right earning result everything everything i i'm focusing on there after that if they pass all my criteria then i am investing in that company Often, uh, iron condor is the resulting loss when I did a paper trade. And last month, I did paper trade, mm -mm 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 -mm. sold Iman, but uh, that must have fell to six, six where? Okay, okay, fell from Iman, gain 50, but lost 80. Okay, okay, Mr. Carty, okay. So yeah, just selecting um, wrong 
strike price. All right, you are selecting wrong strike price. So let me tell you what we are applying. So at that time, we are applying ATR. You just check it ATR, ID percentile. Okay, after that, we are calculating the uh, volatility of this market. Okay. And after that, we are constructing this strategy. Okay. So please upload uh, option class. Yeah, I'll upload, I'll upload. Entire basic class, I'll upload. So what is the position ITC? ITC is still not figured my position according to my technical analysis. I'm waiting still, I'm waiting in ITC. Let me show you. Okay, 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 okay. Mm, what is baby ITC? Or, yeah, this one, yeah. Yeah, now I can see uh, ITC, we are looking for enter in this market. So most of them, my friend, enter somewhere here uh, yesterday uh, because I was outside yesterday. So I'm not able to enter in this market. Why? Because we know, uh, I already told you the ITC at least they're still running in a downtrend and they're losing their bullish momentum. So we are expecting it will drop in this level. But I missed that opportunity yesterday and today I'm not able to trade anymore anymore in this market. So I was outside. So I just attending this class only. Okay. So my friend enter here when they open somewhere here and bought some stock price somewhere here. So they book their profit, but I'm I'm looking for a breakout. So this is called tweezer pattern, there is tweezer pattern. So everybody knows who already bought my class. So where are we placing? We place below here, somewhere below our sell order, all right? So once they break, so we're expecting it will drop from this area, all right? But I'm still focusing on here in ITC, okay? Going to start option paid course approximately cost please. I am not. I'm. I'm. I'm interested to start. Yeah, option paid course is. Uh, so I hope we'll start very soon and definitely we we'll publish this one. Okay, everywhere we'll publish. You can follow me in my uh, Facebook also. I'm giving upload. How to prepare one day before uh, which option buy. Entered in Nifty and Bank Nifty. Okay, sir, can we, you can post the Bank Nifty? How you are doing uh, your crude oil? Okay, okay, I'll try because lack of time, so I'm not able to upload this one. So I'll, I'm trying, I'm trying, definitely I'm trying. The strategy is best for interday. So I'll show you uh, uh, most of the time when I'm, I'm, I'm free, I trade in option interday also. Uh, so I'll show you, uh, uh, I thought, yesterday and even i told that i, I gonna show you today uh internet trading strategy but i was outside today okay so that is why i'm not able to create this video okay all right okay so today today is uh, 30 and today is to The 30, yeah, today is 30. Yeah, it's, uh, it's uploading in YouTube channel, Allies to YouTube channel, yeah. Yeah, uploading this uh, course. And today my technical analysis course going to upload somewhere in the website or another Udemy or like that. So today is last day. If you wanna buy, so you can buy or today. So to, from tomorrow I'm going to launch it, okay. Yeah, so oh, I hope uh, you at least you learn something about uh, uh, option, new thing, how to place. So you just uh, check it, uh, what called basic about the option letter. Definitely we'll, we'll show you how we um, uh, select the stock price for buy and sell. So it is a little more complicated. So at that time we are focusing on many things. So you just watch anywhere like YouTube or whatever. So later we'll discuss professional trading strategies. Okay. Yeah, so I hope you understand. And thanks for giving your valuable time. So 
whatever I can do for you. So definitely I'm trying to explain. So guys, today is the last day. Again, definitely we'll see you very soon. And okay, okay, thank you. Thank you everybody, yeah, thank you. So definitely, definitely. And if you have any problem or you are not able to understand, you can call me. So I think you will understand, you have my WhatsApp number, right? I think you have my WhatsApp number uh, somewhere here, my contact number and my WhatsApp number. So you can call me. So if you have any doubt or problem, uh, you can WhatsApp me and definitely I'll, I'll try to call you, whatever. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. You ask me if you have any doubt or any position. Yeah, yeah, butterfly pattern in your web. So I'll upload everything in my YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, so lack of time. I'm not able to explain this one. Thanks for giving your valuable time. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night.